The sixth category of the Operation Security Clause is called Technical Vulnerability Management, and its objective is to avoid vulnerabilities being exploited by attackers. It has two controls and the first is called Management of Technical Vulnerabilities. This control states that an organization should try to identify its information system's vulnerabilities proactively, and before they have been exploited and used to cause damage to the organization. These vulnerabilities should be assessed and then treated to eliminate their effects. A prerequisite to a good vulnerability management process is knowing what the organization's assets specifically are, how they are operated, and the security measures already in place to protect them. Additional to this, a risk management process should be in place, which helps in prioritizing what vulnerabilities the organization should deal with first. Vulnerability management activities should be assigned to specific roles in the organization, aided with the necessary software and systems that they might need to help them better identify and assess the vulnerabilities. After assessing a vulnerability, and depending on its criticality, a timeline should be defined to deal with it. Vulnerability management is an ongoing process, and not a one-time project, because vulnerabilities change when new systems are introduced, when configuration is changed, or when risk levels change. Automating the process of vulnerability management monitoring helps reserve resources. To eliminate a vulnerability's effects, an organization could patch it, however, patching a vulnerability should be assessed and tested to avoid it creating new risks on its own. If not possible, additional resources could be added, or existing configuration could be changed. The vulnerability management team should work hand-in-hand -hand with other functions, such as the incident management and the configuration management teams.